Now let's take a look at Sin Min Sec 4, Prelim 2021, Paper 1, Question 4. A particle starts from rest at a fixed point O and moves in a straight line towards a point A. Its velocity V meter per second, T seconds after leaving O, is given by V equals to 6 minus 4E to the power of negative 2T. The particle reaches A when T equals to ln 2. Part 1. Find the velocity of the particle at O. At O, meaning it's just started moving, right? So T equals to 0. Okay, so easy. So you will get V equals to 2, okay, meter per second. Part 1. Question part 2. Find the acceleration of the particle at A. So we do not have expression for acceleration. So we need to get from here. Part 2, we need A. Okay. So A will be a differentiation of this expression. So I'll go right here, dv dt. Differentiate V respect to T here. First one here, differentiate 0. Second part is here. Differentiate the power here is negative 2. So I'm going to put negative 2 in front. And I'm going to copy this whole thing down, just a working. So if you can see it, you can multiply it straight away. So it looks like this. Okay? So multiplying negative 2 with negative 4, we have 8e negative 2t. That's expression for acceleration. So they want it at a. a is given to you ln 2. Let's just do it. Okay? So from here you will be getting acceleration equals to 2. Coincidentally, it's the same, huh? Meter per second square. Okay, acceleration. Part 3, explain why the particle never comes to rest. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways of explaining. So let's just take a look at part 3. What happened at rest is that we all know that velocity must be equals to 0, correct? Let's just try to solve this and see what happens. We take that. 6 minus 4e negative 2t equals to 0. Okay, so we have 6 equals to 4e negative 2t. Moving it over, you get this. Okay, next one. Taking logarithm, natural logarithm here. Negative 2t, one more. So t value, you roughly get something like negative 0 0.203, which is invalid in this case because t is time, okay? So we cannot get time as negative, so there's no solution. So we're going to write here for t more than equals to 0. So what we want is a time that's more than equals to 0 to have a solution where v equals 0, okay? But when we are trying to solve for v, there's no solution for this part, okay? We only have it at the negative, which is invalid, okay? So I'm going to explain. For t more is equal to 0, no solution for v equals to 0, okay? So therefore, we can conclude that the particle never comes to rest, okay? By calculating v equals 0. So how about we taking a look at this graph of v equals 6 minus 4e negative 2t in this case. Okay, so from part 1, we know that the starting velocity is 2. All right, I just put a 2 here. From looking at this part here, we know that this 6, v equals to 6, is the asymptote of the graph. So I'm just going to roughly plot here. Okay. So this is where time is 0. So if you are checking t go 1, you can roughly get a value. You'll get roughly 5 point something. So you know that the graph go very fast like this way and you approach asymptote this way. Okay? You'll go nearer to nearer to asymptote. So by graph, we can also say that, okay, the velocity only lies between this and this. So I'm going to write here, for t more than equals to 0, the velocity value will lies between 2 and 6, okay? 
So means V can never be zero. V can never be zero. Therefore, it never come to rest, okay? All right. So to let you take a look at actually what it looks like to see the velocity of that particle, okay? Now, question four, find the distance between O and A. So now we know that it never come to rest. It will be easy question to do um, the next part. Okay, I need some space, so I'm going to clear over there. Okay, now part four, we need distance. I'm going to put S, displacement. That is to integrate V respect to T. Okay, so from where to where? From O to A, which is from zero to ln two for this expression. Okay, we know that it never come to rest from the previous part. So direct integration. So from here, 60. Okay, and from here, I'm going to copy this expression down, divide it by this negative 2 here. Okay, and since I have this value here, I don't have to write a constant. I just place a value here. Okay, so let's simplify it a bit. We have this. Okay. Right? Substituting long 2 in. And 0. Okay. So, by calculation, you get this value. Okay. So, therefore, the distance will be 2.66 meter for this question. 